Hello, welcome. My name's Corinne. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. Um, I'm a huge Neville Goddard fan and we have been reading through the power of awareness and I'm up to chapter number 10, creation. Um, if you haven't heard of Neville Goddard, uh, I believe he's one of the most phenomenal spiritual teachers. Um, he wrote so many amazing books and one of his most fav famous quotes is feeling is the secret. Um, Neville talks about feeling it real, um, about stepping into that which you desire and putting down the former self and taking on the new self and really just embodying it. Um, one of the biggest things that he also teaches is how the external world is just a mirror of what your thoughts and beliefs and assumptions are about on the internal. So chapter 10, creation. I am God declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, things that are not yet done. Isaiah 46, 9, 10. Creation is finis, finished. Creativist, creativeness is only a deeper receptiveness for the entire contents of all time and all space while experience in a time sequence actually coexists in an infinite and eternal now. In other words, all that you have ever been or ever will be, in fact, all that mankind ever was or ever will be exists now. This is what is meant by the cre by creation and the statement that creation is finished means that nothing is ever to be created. It is only to be manifested. What is called creativeness is only becoming aware of what already is. You simply become aware of increasing portions of that which already exists. The fact that you can never be anything that you are not already or experience anything not already existing explains the experience of having an acute feeling of having heard before what is being said or having met before the person being met for the first time or having seen before a place or thing being seen for the first time. The whole of creation exists in you, and it is your destiny to become increasingly aware of its infinite wonders and to experience the ever greater and grander portions of it. Creation is finished, and all events are taking place now. The question that springs naturally to the mind is, what determines your time tract? That is, what determines the events which you encounter? And the answer is, is your concept of yourself. Concept determines the route that attention follows. Here's a good test to prove that fact. Assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and observe the route that your attention follows. You will observe that as long as you remain faithful to your assumption, so long will your attention be confronted with images clearly relating to that assumption. For example, if you assume that you have a wonderful business and you notice how in your imagination, your attention is focused on incident after incident relating to that assumption, friends congratulate you, tell you how lucky you are. Others are envious and critical. From there, your attention goes to larger offices, bigger bank balances, and many other similar related events. Persistence in this assumption will result in actually experience, in fact, that which you assumed. The same is true regarding any concept. If, you, if your concept of yourself is that you are a failure, you would encounter in your imagination a whole series of incidents in conformance to that concept. Thus, it is clearly see, seen how you, by your concept of yourself, determine your present, that is, the particular portion of creation which you now experience, and your future, that is, the particular portion of creation you, which you will experience. And that is creation. 
Um, I love the way that uh, um, Neville just puts into words that everything, all events are currently taking place and depending on all the possibilities are there, depending on where we place our attention and what we assume to be true, that's what we attract, that's what we assume, that's what we manifest and it just, it just snowballs into those assumptions. So what is your concept? Put your attention on where you want to be. Put your attention on your goal already being accomplished. What does that look like? What does it feel like? What do you do? How do you behave? How do others perceive you? Um, and then that would, that is what your experience in life will be. So awesome. Check us out for the next chapter. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Corinne. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thanks, guys.